Hi everyone, this is Tommy from Studio Ultra Mega bringing you Operation Battle Ready, Episode 19, Werewolf Fur. Our first step is to grab our scale color brown leather and a nasty old brush and just get a nice solid base coat of brown leather all over this thing. I'm going to use one of our nastier brushes because uh, we're going to be smooshing it into lots of crevices and werewolf armpits and there's no reason to do any damage to our uh, fancy fresh sable brushes. Our next step is to make a 50-50 mix of Scale Colors Flat Black and Brown Leather and we're going to use that on the werewolf's mane. Now we're going to make sure to get coverage on the mane and we're going to go over onto his shoulders and onto his back. Uh, we're going to try to create the look of fur here. We don't want the hard line between uh, the mane and the rest of the body. going to take scale color flat black uh, pure and cover the crest of the mane and a little down the center of the back and just off the shoulders a bit. Next, we do a wash of Citadel's Agrax Earthshade. Uh, this is going to add depth and also help blur the transitions between the colors and the blends. Once that wash is thoroughly dry, we can start to build back up our highlights with brown leather. We're going to keep these highlights really broad. It's almost going to feel like a base coat again, but we're still benefiting from all the depth of the wash and brown leather underneath. For this layer you can see I've moved to an actually decent brush. Um, it's still an older one, it's not one of my better ones. Uh, I do like to save the sharpest points for when they're needed. Next we're going to apply a wash of Reichland Flesh Shade. This is going to do something similar to the original brown wash, but it's also going to add warm reddish tones to our fur. Next we're going to put out some scale color Mars Orange and get uh, two parts brown leather, one part Mars Orange blend going and start to build up our highlights. laying these highlights on when we get up to the softer transitions in the shoulder uh, I'm trying not to bring the new brighter mix too close to the darker colors up on the shoulder I want a nice transition
Now we're going to add some more Mars Orange to the mix to make it more of a 50-50 ratio between the Mars Orange and the brown leather. When using the layering technique for highlights, you always want to leave a little bit of that previous layer's highlight visible. Uh, as you increase the brightness of the highlight, you're drawing it in, you're keeping it to the higher points, uh, covering less area on the model, keeping it on the edges and high points. With that layer of highlights complete, we're going to pull out the Reichland Flesh Shade once again. Um, and undiluted, we're going to start applying it to the model. But this time, we are applying it as a glaze. We're not leaving it to pool and recess in the cracks so much. Uh, we're looking more for even coverage. This is more about tone than shadow. Once that's dry, we're going to take a dollop of scale color Mojave White and mix it into our orange and brown mix uh, to create the next layer of highlights. This next round of highlights, I just took another brush load of Mojave White and blended it right into that same color. Uh, those elements of the orange and brown in this very white white are helping with the blends. When doing layered highlights, mixing colors together before using them as a highlight is really important. Uh, those other pigments being in your new layer help tie it in with the layer underneath. That's why we paint with paint so thin and translucent. Now at this point we're going to bring back the flesh shade, we want to help with the transitions on the arm more, and I'm going to add a little bit of matte medium to this, about a brush load, and mix that up, uh, and you see we get a, a thinner, even more translucent glaze, and it also gives us a lot more control over it. Now we're going to grab another brush load of Mojave White, mix that in with that same highlight color we just used, and now we're going to hit the extreme highlights on his snout, his jaw, uh, his scruff under his chin, and his uh, soft underbelly there.
next we're going to turn our attention to his mane and for that we're going to go with a cool color where we're using anthracite gray from scale color um, this is going to add a little dynamism to his color scheme here we don't want him to be so monochromatic that he's boring anthracite gray is a nice cool gray uh, if you ever have trouble determining whether a gray is cool or warm uh, just mix it up with some truly neutral white and it should become pretty obvious to you. Uh, we're also creating little freehand hash marks in the dark area around his mane to help break up that transition. Our final extreme highlights are going to be with a little scale color graphite just on the very tips and we're going to even hit those little uh, freehand hash marks we drew in. that is how I approach wolf fur. I would like to thank all of our patrons at Patreon who make these videos possible. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.